Even the mightiest men on this planet fall victim to our plant-based overlords, transforming them into soy boy cocks. And for those of you that haven't heard, John Jones has recently gone plant-based, explaining his worst performance yet in his recent UFC light heavyweight championship defense. Many high-level MMA judges and commentators are actually saying that Jones lost the fight. John ends up winning that fight, but Santos wins rounds. He won two of the rounds. Yeah. This is the <clears throat> first time, the first time I have ever looked and said, that guy that he's facing, he won three of those rounds. Dominic Reyes, I, in my opinion, and you can argue with it, but my opinion, and I kind of know the criteria for judging, okay? Mm -hmm. Kind of wrote it. So <laughs> I think... I have a pretty good idea that Dominic Ray has won the first three rounds. John Bones Jones reveals his mostly vegan diet while training for UFC 247 bout against Dominic Reyes. How's training camp been, man? How do you feel this camp's going compared to other camps? Training camp's going great, man. I, I have a, a bigger and stronger team around me than ever before. Um, you know, I switched up my diet a little bit. I, I started eating uh, plant-based uh, for, you know, about 80% of my meals come plant-based now um, uh, cardio feels great i'm lighter than i'm normally am uh, normally i weigh at least like 222 around this time right now i'm already 215 so i'm ahead of schedule majorly in my weight cut which just allows me to focus on happiness and relaxation and, and i just feel perfect man it, it's been the perfect camp i have no excuses i, I feel amazing you're very calm I mean, you're very calm yeah yeah I, man I, i've been doing this for a long time against Guy's a lot more dangerous than Dominic, you know? So, like I said, I respect him wholeheartedly, but I don't see him being the guy to do it. Johnny Bones is going to turn into a bag of bones if he stays on the vegan diet. We know these vegans are losing muscle, not body fat. When you go vegan, you turn skinny fat, unless you take copious amounts of performance enhancing drugs like the clowns on the Game Changers that are lying to everyone. The UFC superstar has been a big fan of meat in the past. He even promoted the Butcher Box meat company on his Instagram in 2019. You know, it's weird that Butcher Box, an allegedly grassroots company, is able to afford to sponsor John Jones on their payroll after only being in business for like two or three years. Frankie's Free Range Meat has been going for about a year now, and I haven't even paid myself once. I haven't made a cent. I think this person from the Sure Dog MMA forum said it best. John Jones's vegan diet is doing so well for him. Makes him fight like a complete sissy. Put some meat back on that plate. Maybe he'll regain that killer instinct. Until then, this is what you'll get. Then you have the vegan soy boys in the comments. Oh look, another stupid, uneducated, science denying meathead. Now, what exactly convinced cuck boy Jones to go vegan? The athlete thanked his fiance Jesse for introducing him to this way of living. Okay guys, how obvious can it be that he's being paid to promote this plant-based garbage? Same with Joaquin Phoenix the other day with the Oscar speech. It's pitiful that people fall into this low IQ nonsense and even more pitiful that current vegans use obvious corporate propaganda to promote their message. And what do people expect? Do they think if they go vegan they're gonna have this amazing athletic ability like John Jones? What's actually going to happen is you're going to turn into a little fairy boy like, Oh my god, Johnny Bones is vegan. He's so cute. Maybe if I go vegan, I can go on a date with him. Tee That's what's really going to happen. I mean, you guys are already, you know, you MMA dudes already like rolling around with a bunch of men in a sweaty room. So, to each his own. It is so obvious that the term plant-based is what these vegan sellouts are trying to promote. Choose a buzzword, a phrase, create hype around it. Pay all of these influencers to use that term, hope it sticks. I mean, just like the carnivores are using, I eat the meat you like and can't afford, so uh, JBS and Cargill write me a check for my daughter's Mercedes. <laughs> I mean, Maybe if Johnny Bones was eating bacon, eggs, and burgers like his opponent Dominic Reyes, he would have been better off. Jones was scarfing down giant plates of eggs just a few years ago when he was performing much better. 
It's pretty clear what has happened here. As with every single athlete that decides to go vegan, their health and performance falls apart within a mere year, perhaps even several months, of depriving themselves of animal nutrition as plant foods don't have the building blocks you need for parts of your body, including muscle. Novak Djokovic had to go back to eating fish. Cam Newton's career is on the line. Patrick Baboumian has never competed at a professional level outside of professional farting competitions. Nate Diaz got whipped by Masvidal and he's not even 100% vegan. Morgan Mitchell finished last in her recent race. The list goes on and on and on. These vegans are trying to create this illusion to get people to go plant-based and it's, it's just unfortunate that the food supply, everything is controlled and, and they try to suck you into all these different types of diets, whether it's vegan, carnivore, keto, paleo, as long as you're still going to the supermarket, buying the agrochemical sprayed crap, staying unhealthy, unhappy, always trying to find a solution to your health problem. That's what they want because they make a lot of money. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and of course, above all guys, please share the video. If you guys wanna support me further, definitely check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet, down below. And there's a bunch of other things you can check out, ranging from Frankie's Syringe range meat, to Frankie's Naturals, to one-on-one -on -one consultations via frank-defino.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.